My name is William Justice, and today we're going to be creating this really cool plasma text effect. It's easy to do, it only takes a few nodes in uh, using DaVinci Resolve Fusion. So we can get some effects that look like this, and you can change up the settings and get something that looks like this. There's a lot of different options. I have a couple new videos planned, they're not quite ready to yet. Um, one of them is going to be my favorite super secret uh, feature of DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Um, that should be coming out pretty soon. And I'm also working on another one that's taken a little bit longer. Um, I filmed some of it, but I actually have to gonna have to get out and uh, film some more shots. I'm probably gonna make a fool of myself. It's gonna be kind of crazy. Um, but if you're interested, if you'd like to know what I'm up to, um, subscribe and follow my progress. Um, as always, just leave any questions, comments. I'd love to hear from you, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so let's get into the plasma text effect, and I'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. Okay, to create the plasma text, the first thing we're going to want to do is create a uh, fusion clip. And we're going to do everything in fusion with a few nodes. So we'll click, uh, right click in the media pool area and select a new fusion composition. And we'll change the time to, let's see, we'll just do 15 seconds. Click create. We'll take the fusion composition and drag it into our timeline. And at the bottom, we're going to click the fusion button. Okay, now that we're in Fusion, we're going to start by adding a text node. We're going to click the uh, text node icon and drag that in. And we'll set our, uh, let's see, we'll hit, select the text node and hit 2 so that we can see it in the window up here. And we're going to type in the text. We'll just type uh, plasma. And we'll make this a little bit bigger and let's increase the size of our text. <laughs> Okay, next we're going to want to add the plasma node. So and we'll click control and spacebar, search for plasma and add that. And then we're going to connect up the plasma to the output of the text node and that's going to create a merge node. So we're going to have the text is the background and the plasma is going to be the foreground. So let's hit two on the plasma so we can kind of see what that looks like right there. It creates um, these patterns that we're going to use to for our effect. Then we're going to hit two on the merge, and you can see that the the plasma text um, the plasma the text is below there. So what we want to do is to get the the plasma effect inside of that text. So we're going to change the operator to in, and you can see that that puts the, places the plasma inside of that text. So the next thing we're going to want to do is kind of to animate our plasma. So we'll click on the plasma node, and we'll go to the color. And there's this phase right here. And you can see as we move the phase, the position of the plasma changes. So let's just hit, uh, hit 2 on the plasma so you can see the whole thing. Um, so we're going to go to the first frame, and we're going to hit the, uh, hit a, set that to 0 there, um, set the keyframe. And then we're going to go to the very last frame of the animation. And we're going to change the phase. We're going to change it to like 25. So now when we play the animation, you can see that the plasma effect is changing. We'll hit the merge node and hit 2 so we can see it. And we'll play that. You can see the plasma effect inside of that text. So let's go ahead and add a background in right here so we can see what it looks like. Um, put the background there. And we'll swap the inputs. The plasma text is on the is on black now. Let's go ahead and connect that up to the media out. That's the effect we have so far. The last thing we need to do is add the add an edge detect, and that's going to create an interesting effect inside of the text. So hit Control Spacebar, hit Find Edge Detect, and add it. You can see all, all of a sudden it's changed a little bit. Now what we're going to do is play around with the edge detect. We can adjust the threshold and the smoothness and some of the other settings. So let's see here. Bump up the, the denoise strength and the threshold a little bit. Bring down the brightness. And we'll play that. OK, now there's a few things we can do in the plasma itself. If we go inside of here and reduce the scale, we're going to get a little bit more detail inside of the text, as you can see there. So with the size down, and we will show you what that looks like, there's more detail, and that's going to find more edges, which is going to create a create an interesting effect. So we'll uh, let's 
do the media out. And you see that there's more edges that have been found inside of there. So I think I want to clean that up a little bit. Um, and bring down this denoise a little bit. Okay. And then we got that effect. Now you can play around with a lot of these set settings um, to get some different effects in here. If you want to just have the edges of the text, you can set this th threshold way up high, and you'll see that it's only the edges of that text that are going to show up. We'll move that down a bit. The other thing you can do is, it, with inside the plasma, you can adjust the colors. So there's a red phase, green phase, and blue phase. So when you move these, you're going to get different color effects. So this has more of a, a little, kind of a rainbowy feel with some blues, yellows, greens. We'll play that. The other adjustment that you can make is if you hit the plasma and if we bump the size up, it's going to pretty much just get to the outside with a little bit of the inner part filled up. So you can really do a lot of different kind of looks with this. I kind of like it when, the, when there's a little more detail inside of there. And obviously there's all you can play around with the plasma to get a lot of different effects with it with these settings here. Just kind of playing around, getting some different options going on. And if you want to speed it up or slow it down, you can adjust the phase. So if we wanted to speed it up, we can set the phase to like 50 and it's going to go a lot faster. Or we could make it a lot slower and put it something like 10. And it's the, the animation effect inside there will be, oops, I set a keyframe. Let me take back that out. Go to the very end and we'll set it to 10. And this one's going to animate a lot slower. And that's how you do the plasma text effect.